1.5 angle addition. An angle is a set of points consisting of two different rays that have the same end point. This is called the vertex. The rays are the sides of the angle. Example one, label the figure to the right or below here using the vocabulary words ray and vertex. Point A is where the rays begin and this is called the vertex. This point from A to C with an arrow on the end creates ray C. This point A to point B creates ray B. You can name the angle you can name this angle in several different ways. The first way is to label it by its vertex, such as angle A. This does look like a less than symbol, but you flatten it out on the bottom and it makes it into an angle symbol. So angle A is one, one way to name this. Another way to name it is using a point on each ray and the vertex. And note that the vertex always has to be in the middle. So we could call this angle C a, B, or you could call it angle B, A, C. But the important thing to note is that the vertex always has to be the center letter of your name. The last one that comes up fairly often is that you can uh, label an angle using a number such as angle one, and then we would put a little one on the inside of the angle, I should fix that, a little one on the inside of the angle to match it. So you can either do it by its vertex, you can do it by its um, two points on the opposite rays with the vertex in the middle, or it can be done by a number. You cannot call an angle by its vertex if there are two angles sitting next to each other. You can only use this if it's a single angle sitting by itself. The region inside, um, the region inside of the sides of the angles is called the interior of the angle. And the region on the outside of the angle is called the exterior. So on this diagram to the right, this area on the outside of the angle is called the exterior. And this side in between the two rays is called the interior. In this class, we will always measure angles in degrees for regular geometry. We will measure all of our angles in degrees with a degree symbol. We will be particular on our grading that you use a degree symbol on your answers when it is appropriate. Now there are four different types of angles that exist based on their size. So if you have one that measures greater than zero but less than 90, this is called an acute angle less than 90 degrees. If you get a little bit larger and you measure exactly 90 degrees, this is called a right angle. Then if you get larger than 90 degrees, if you open all the way up, you can call that, or almost all the way up, you can call that an obtuse angle. And finally, if you open all the way up to lay all the way down, this angle measure from line, you know, from this ray to this ray is 180 degrees. It's a straight line. So this is what's called a straight angle. So here's our note. Just like you can add segments together, you can add angles together to make larger angles. Those angles will now share a vertex and have a common ray. So this is when you cannot name your angle based on its vertex. You will have to name it using the three letter method where the vertex is in the middle. So here's our example. Find M angle measure, um, angle ABC. So this little M right here stands for measure. So it's asking you to find the measure of angle ABC. So that means to start on point A, go to vertex B, 
and end on ray C. So we are looking for the entire measure of this angle in between A and C. So how much does that measure? Well, angle ABD is 37, and DBC is 21 degrees. So 37 and 21 makes 58. So our final answer, the measure of angle ABC is 58 degrees with a degree symbol on it. Now that we've done one with numbers, let's try another one with numbers, but a little bit of a different direction. The directions say the measure of RST. So that's R to S to T. So the whole thing from R to S to T, the whole thing is 114 degrees. Now the directions say to find the measure of RSV, R to S to V. So we'd like to know how much is this portion? Well, 114 is the total angle measure. We know VST is 72 degrees. So in this case, we can use subtraction. 114 minus 72 is 42. So the measure of angle RSV is 42 degrees. 42 plus 72 is 114. Now that we've done some examples using numbers, we're going to try an example that uses expressions. Given that the measure of LKN L to K to N, so this is the total angle measure, is 145 degrees. Find the measure of LKM and MKN, so that's each of these smaller acute angles. We want to know what their measure size is. So they're going to be some chunk of 145, but I don't know what chunk. So this is very similar to segment addition. This is angle addition, part plus part equals whole. So we're going to sit, we're going to take our two angle measures. So we're going to take the measure of LKM and MKN and set that equal to 145. So 2X plus 10, that's LKM, plus our other part, 4X minus 3, that's MKN, equals 145. Now we're gonna solve this by combining like terms. 2x and 4x make 6x's. 10 take away 3 is 7, equals 145, minus 7. 6x equals 138, divide by 6, and we get x equals 23. We're not quite done though, we need to take that 23 and substitute it back into each angle. 2 times 23 plus 10 is 56 degrees. 4 times 23 minus 3 is 89 degrees. So our final answer, the measure of LKM, that's this one, LKM is 56 degrees and the measure of MKN is 89 degrees. The two angles are congruent. Two angles are congruent when they have the same measure. Matching arcs indicate congruent angles just like tick marks indicate congruent segments. This is an arc mark on this diagram over here, those little markings there. So if that is 24 degrees, then this is also 24 degrees. You can have more than one arc mark to talk about multiple angles at a time. So you could put two, tick or two arc marks on there and that still means that those two angles are congruent. 
an angle bisector is a ray that divides an angle into two angles that are congruent. So just like segment bisector, bisector stands for two segments, bi stands for two, so it's cutting it into two equal segments. So in, um, in a, an example, so QS bisects PQR and divides it into two equal angles, PQS and SQR. Pause this video. Well, I'm gonna, well, I'll help you get started, but then you can pause this video and try this example. Ray BD bisects ABC. So what does that mean about these two angles if this is a bisector? Two equal angles. So that means that these two angles are equal to each other. So I'll get you the setup. 6x plus 14 equals 3x plus 29. You go ahead and pause the video and solve for x and finish this problem. Also work on example number two, and then we'll compare. You should have gotten the x value equal to 5. So the measure of ABD is 44, the measure of DBC is 44, and the measure of ABC, the total, is 88. One more for you to try down below. Bisects, that's a key word. If it bisects, then they are equal. 3x plus 6 equals 7x minus 18. Go ahead and solve. So x equals six. Now, eighteen plus six, twenty four. Twenty four. So then my answer list the measure of angle A, B. D is 24 degrees. The measure of angle DBC is 24 degrees. And the measure of ABC is going to be 48 degrees. Thank you.